students in this class we are going to discuss about two literary devices the first one is called simile and the second one is called metaphor all the poems must use literary devices or figures of speech without the use of literary devices or figures of speech a poem cannot be written a poem cannot be called a good poem now the question arises that why the poet uses literary devices or figures of speech it's because the poem is different from a piece of prose this is because a poem cannot be compared with a piece of prose a poem does have the rhyme scheme a poem does have the flow a flow which is very swift a flow which is very adaptable a flow which can be learned very easily so a poem must have some of the literary devices if not all the literary devices but in all the poems you will find some or the other literary devices you have to speak about poetry then what you will have to do you will have to know about the figures of speech then only you can justify that what is a poem then only you will be able to justify the reading of a poem the writing of a poem and to understanding the poem without the knowledge of the literary devices you will not be able to justify the poem you will not be able to justify the literary devices you will not be able to justify your answer in the final examination so you must know about the literary devices so the first literary device used by a poet is simile now the question arises what is a simile a simile is a word which is used to compare two different inanimate objects two different persons using the word as or like means if you are comparing two objects or two things or two people you will have to use the word as or like for example he is like the gandhi of jharkhand she is like the moon he is as strong as a wrestler she is as efficient as my mother so you can see in these four sentences we have used the word as or like to compare two different things to different people we have seen that he is as strong as a wrestler so someone in this sentence has been used the word like or as to compare someone with a wrestler she is like the moon means someone is as beautiful as the moon so the word like the word as to compare to things or to person or one person with the other celestial bodies it's called comparison using the word as or like that's called simile a very simple and safer example of simile is it must be taken from the nursery rhyme twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky so in this poem the last line of this poem this nursery rhyme does contains the word like a diamond in the sky the stars are compared with diamond they shine like diamond in the sky so we have seen in our nursery classes the use of simile but since our teachers or the people around they didn't tell us to pay much attention to the literary devices they paid much attention in making us learn the poem only how will you know 
about the figures of speech auditory devices or poetic devices where we find that to know about the poetic devices is very important a little knowledge is a dangerous thing so if you want to attain knowledge you must have complete thorough knowledge so if you are studying a poem and you don't know what a poem is if you are studying a poem and if you don't know about simile if you don't know about metaphor if you don't know about hyperbole if you don't know about onomatopoeia if you don't know about cynic talk if you don't know about assonance if you don't know about alliteration it's no use uh, reading poetry it's totally useless so what you have to do you must have the idea about what is a simile what is a metaphor what is a what is a metaphor what is a hyperbole etc etc you must have the knowledge of all these literary devices without which you cannot justify a poem you cannot justify what you are studying so what you have to do we have discussed one of the literary devices that is simile whether you have used the word as or like in comparing two different objects or in comparing two different things using the word as or like the second literary device which is very important is metaphor now the question arises that what is the definition of metaphor what is a metaphor a metaphor is direct comparison of two different things to dissimilar things or persons without the use of as or like you compare two things you compare two persons but you don't use the word as or like for example example number 1 she is the mother teresa of india or he is the gandhi of jharkhand she is the moon in these three examples you may not have found any use of as or like you have seen that he is the he is the gandhi of jharkhand we have not said he is like the gandhi of jharkhand but he is the gandhi of jharkhand so what is this this is direct comparison and direct comparison is equal to metaphor in the second sentence we have seen c is the moon we have not said c is like the moon she is the moon without the use of as or like means we have used again metaphor in the third sentence that she is the mother teresa of india means some personality some female who doesn't have the real identity but her works her deeds has make her her deeds have made her like a mother teresa so that's why we have not used like or as we have said that she is like the mother teresa of india suppose that such type of woman is found in france or in america or in england and that woman is called there like the mother teresa of india and they are not comparing her using the word as or like this is called metaphor poem is not a prose please keep this in mind that poem and prose they are quite different things in a prose you cannot get aesthetic pleasure but in a poem you does you do get aesthetic pleasure in a poem you get rhyme scheme in a prose you cannot get a rhyme scheme in a poem you can get emotion affection care attention love emotion everything but in a prose it's a dull pace of literature a prose is a dull pace of literature whereas a poem is not called it cannot be called a dull piece of literature if you read a prose a piece of prose 20 times you will not be able to learn 
But if you read a poem five times, six times, you are able to learn the poem. Why? Because the poem does have the poetic quality. It does have the rhyme scheme. It does have the emotion. It does have the music-like quality. It does have affection. It does have love, care and attention. So you are able to learn a poem, whereas you find it very difficult to learn a piece of prose by heart. So that's why the use of literary devices is very common in poems. It's very common in poetry. Poetic devices are used very rarely in prose. Very rarely. There are a number of literary devices which a poet can be used in his poem. It can be onomatopoeia, it can be hyperbole, it can be synecdoche, it can be alliteration, it can be a number of other things like poetic license. So what is there? If you don't know the use of these literary devices, you will not be able to justify your answer. You will read, you will learn the poem. But if someone tell you to justify your answer, that where is simile, what is alliteration, where is onomatopoeia, and you will be answerless, you will become blank. You don't have any answer in your mind. Because you have never learned, you have never studied about the poetic devices. In the next class, we'll discuss the third literary device. What I have given you today in this class, the examples of simile and metaphor, I hope you will learn that by heart. You will make notes and you will write another 5-10 examples of each simile and metaphor. Try to write 10-10 examples each so as to do the best in your final examination. Because in the final examination, if poem will come, you will have to identify the use of metaphor, the use of simile, the use of other poetic devices. So try to make notes based upon the literary devices also. Thank you.